Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to episode six of my journey through group self-found Necropolis League. Last time I took down the Maven, getting my third Void Stone on my Atlas. One more to go with Uber Elder. That is the goal for today. To hunt down Uber Elder and then transition into Heist, where I will try and run all the contracts and get through these blueprints. I'm not too far off from Uber Elder. I need a Constrictor map. I can go ahead, I can just start with Shaper. Then we'll do Maven Influence, Destructive Play with these bosses as well. Jeweler's Orb and Converts on Death. Let's make the Stone Golems turn into my team. On the Atlas Passive Tree, it's set up for map drops, the ability to find improved offering of the Goddess, and smugglers, caches, scarabs, quant, shrines, boss maps. There's my smugglers cache that gets me Huck, who's got a pride aura, and also gives me a buff for damage, cast speed. A hunter, primordial pool, that could get me a Cirrus. It's the only one I was missing. Minotaur down. Syndicate escorts, pack monsters can drop scarabs. Cool, that's one of the new ones added in the patch. Last night, pack monsters are rats. I need to use those embers more. Hey, a Stygian Spire. I get a Stygian Vise. That has potential to be huge. Defeat Stygian Spire while affected by a shrine. Challenge completed. Let's go. I love completing more difficult challenges before I've even looked at the challenges. Oh, I guess got blown up. Breach Scarab of Lordship. Breaches an area each contain a Breach Lord. First time I've seen that. It's not that surprising to me that I get distracted by drops fighting Phoenix, and that's how I get blown up by him. So I got a more pack size one here. Let's see, what do I got? Let's do the Splinters of Toll. I don't think I wanted to use any of these unless they have the more pack size so that I can get the drops from pack monsters more often. Hey, just the Reach monsters being in here can drop the realm cards for the portal gym. Oh, lots of tolls. Come on. Hook me up. Strongest monster impact at 700% life. Amazing. Ooh, cold iron point. Oh, this is huge. Okay. Oh, amazing. Oh, boy. Okay. So, put the wand on. I'm at 48, 753. The dagger, 48, 736. The damage winds up being about the same, but were I to consider the corrupting fever, it's at 94.83, that jumps to 10.890 with the extra levels, so it will be more damage. So massive. Now, Horde Crafting Bench, I don't think I have enough yet. What do I want here? Can't give it attack speed, like, there's no enchant that's good, outside of maybe AoE. I mean, I'll take some AoE. I crafted it on the wrong thing. There was just this wand chilling in here. <laughs> awesome. All right, another time. I will give it AoE. All right, does my damage feel better? I mean, it has to. I'm getting over a thousand... <clears throat> getting over a thousand more with each Corrupting Fever. Need to remove all of the Destructive Play ones. Then just fight Hydra, who keeps getting healed. That makes sense. Exsanguinate. Reap. Another Void Sphere. Damage is definitely better. It's still not amazing. Dagger probably got me over a million. DPS. Ah, I'm so terrified not having the spell suppression. There we go. Made it. Saintly Chainmail. Pack size and mod tier. Chance for pack to be rare. Eternal Splinters. Knights of the Sun. Do some Knights of the Sun. Why not? Yeah, get artifacts. Item is corrupted. Increased chance for corruption. Implicit mods. Yeah, damage is definitely better. I feel like it's all in the Corrupting Fever and maybe the Reap where it really started to make a difference, but very happy with it. Mara down. They reflect poison damage formed. All right, start with Minotaur. Good. Corrupting Fever, turn that on. I just want to like try and focus Minotaur because he's the one that gets bad once the others come out. Damage is definitely better than yesterday because I was only getting them like, well, I mean, I still get them about to half, but I actually got them to half before the others came out. Ah! All right, Void Sphere, Curse, Sanguinates. Come on, Minotaur, so close. Phoenix down. Okay, Minotaur's out of here. We're Hydra. All right, focus Hydra. And then Chimera will just die eventually. Got it. 
Four splinters, extra chimera, heavy belt, eclipse staff, another pair of gloves. We made quite a mess of this arena. There's blood splatters all over the place. All right, and last phase of Shaper, where I've made it to. Let's not get slammed. I gotta ramp the Reap. If I can get the, the Reap going, damage is actually not bad. I just gotta get it ramped up. Keep him in the Void Sphere. Keep doing the Exsanguinates. And almost there. Yeah, I need another Void Sphere. I think I was losing Corrupting Fevers there, but oh yeah. Damage definitely up. Prophecy Wand. Another pair of Shaper's Touch. Bottom Fragment. That was the Fragment I needed. We'll go ahead and do the first three of these, but I need to get the Constrictor. No rewritten memories yet either. Rewritten Distant Memory. So I could do another Invitation now. Means I might get a couple more Mavens in. But that gets me another Passive Point if I run that, so I might as well. And is that a Constrictor? It sure is. I got an Alpha Ember of the False God. Socket-related Currency. The pack size, quant of items dropped. This is where I think I put in the Templar splinters. Attack mod scarcer. Huge. A lot of divining going on on replica dragon fangs. We went from contagion to sweep to blood rage, ensnaring arrow, kinetic bolt, and ended up with a soul rend, which soul rend's not too bad. Six oil chests, blighted T13 arcade. And a violet indigo oil. Poison, free shock ignite, twisted. I started and ended with the eradicator out here. All things as normal. Ow, 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 ow. Extra shocks. Hurts. There we go. Four splinters. No extra fragments. Another hubris circlet though. Final phase of elder. Been going pretty well. Ramp my blood charges. Keep the Void Sphere and the Curse. Finish up the Blood Charges. I've been doing it like sets of three. Like I'll do three combos of Exsanguinate Reap and then I'll reapply Orb and Curse and then try and do it again. I need to make myself a pair of gloves is what I need. That has socketed gems, steal more damage over time from Essence. Maybe that's something I'll try and grind out tomorrow. Because I want to heist after I finish all this up. And then, can I convert this fragment? How much does this cost? 800 yellow. So that just flips. Perfect. So there's you, Wilder. And I have a Maven. Oh, and I want to do these. Okay, so still plenty of bossing stuff to do. Start with this Uber Elder, though. No spell suppression here means Shaper's going to be scary. But hopefully I can pull it off. Okay, let's go. Um, I got the Crumpton Fever up. Okay, Shaper's gonna move. So, it might be in my best interest to not worry as much about the Void Sphere on him and just try and keep doing the Reap combo. Make sure the curse is applied. Okay, that's phase one. Now, Elder stays still more. I can put the Void Sphere down on Elder and get more value out of it than Shaper. And there's a beam. That blew up. Good, good, good. Round one of the fight. Finished. No issues. That's very good. And keep circling the room so that I can try and dodge Shaper as much as possible. Alright, we're back to damaging Shaper, who is now here. Warp. Okay. Please blow it. There it is. I think I'm still on Shaper. Yeah. Ah, uh, chill all over the place. Okay, back on Elder. Uh-oh, uh-oh, that was the worst. Okay, come on, Elder. Ah. Uh. 
Nope. Nice. Baited the beam. Please blow up the thing. Put the balls right there. Second ad phase. Still haven't died. Feeling good about that. I'm pretty sure this, those ice spears count as an attack from Elder. I don't know. I feel like I haven't been getting hit by them, which makes me feel like I'm blocking them, which makes them, would make them attacks. I've never been 100% sure on that. Shaper Slam. Oh, I blocked that. Ah, oh, I'm dead. Yep, couldn't move. So I turn on the Corrupting Fever before going back in. But that blow, he warped. And again. Ah! <laughs> Try this again. Corrupting Fever. Shaper is up here. There we go. Remove the other ads. Okay, we're on Elder. Get him cursed. Start stacking my blood charges back up. Okay, Elder Slam. Ow. Okay, Blast Elder. Get him the Void Sphere. Beam. Don't hopefully wait for that to explode. Come on. No, no, no. Place the balls. Ah, uh, okay. Another Elder Slam. Base, please. Yes, okay. Top right of the room is in a bad shape. Bottom left is pretty open. Top left isn't bad either. There's a lot of the Fizz Degen puddles up here in the top right. And one underneath the cold in the bottom right. Alright, we're now damaging them both. Let's go. Ow. Dead. Okay, three portals. Alright, go after Shaper. Who is up here. Nope. Now down here. Elder Slam. Excuse me? What? What hit and killed me there? Okay. Where? Shaper. Slam. Ah, uh, Elder. Come on. Oh, this is last. Oh, this is last portal. Oh, no. Okay. Curse. No, no, no. Get me out of the. Shaper slam, move. Ah, uh, during cry, elder slam. No, that's where it takes like one ball. They were so close. Well, I guess I uh, try it again. Run it back. Running more maps might let me get my craft completed. So I don't know. Do I still go after a wand or do I try and make a shield? I might try and switch it up and make a shield. Mm, I don't know. There's There might be more upside in the wand. Interesting. I got corpse level 77 monsters from a 81 map I just did because I used an all flame to put monsters in it that were of a lower level so they stay at that level even though you put them in the higher tier map synthetic fury pack monsters can drop fractured items ember of anarchy rogue exiles Ooh, lots of cool stuff on this one fractured plus three max fire res shield we got a sanctuary map t17 modifiable with chaos it says now less defenses buffs expire faster additional rare monster mods crazy life those maps 
<laughs> the mods they roll is insane. Plus 50 modifier tier rating. That's cool. I can't use it on the current craft I have set up, I don't think. Three splinters. Scarab of Hordes. Elder Bone Ring. Corrupting Fever. 20 quality. Ooh, that's big. Hitting level 20. Ooh, somebody got an Impulsus. Then my offhands. Yeah. Animate Guardians leveled. Infernal Cry. Exsanguinate. 2020. Corrupt it. 2020. And there's a 2012. The Corrupting Fever. Corrupt that one. 1920. Rip. And a Perforate. A 19 quality Corrupting Fever. Start leveling that. Got 11 GCPs. Quality up another Exsanguinate. Give it another shot. 2015. I'll start leveling the Vol Reap. Another Formed Down. Extra Phoenix. Four Splinters for Maven. Vol Spirit Shield. I'll do the Synthesis ones. Monster Damage Penetrates Ellie Res. Lovely. Monster Damage. Div Cards, Fossils, Currency Shards. I think this still gets Destructive Play. Maven will be here, but let's see. No? Maybe not? I mean, I'm okay if there's no Destructive Play here. It hasn't started launching, but there they are. Now, this is where this is bad. With the uh, Ellie Pin, I don't want to get hit by those. Okay, uh, then I'll go back to fighting the boss. Oh, we're spawning ads from the Dijin stuff. When this fight goes crazy. Lots of extra stuff added. Nope. Almost there. Nope. Launching more balls. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, finish him. Ah! Got him. Sapphire ring with extra cold damage. Cold res, mana reservation efficiency. Bunches of fossils. Speed, AoE, physics extra, reduced effect of curses for the altered. Oh, that is some AoE for sure. Okay, he sits in the middle though, so... That's good. Oh, big blast. Nice. Things charging up in the middle. Safe spot here. Good. Uh, he's dead. Circle of Regret. Herald of Thunder buff effect. Lightning damage while affected by Herald of Thunder. Chaos damage. Monster life. multi proj beyond. Frenzy charges. 93 life fractured on full dragon scale. This one gets a shield. I wonder if he goes invulnerable during this ad phase. Hidden ad phases of synthesis bosses. All it really shows to me is like I don't have enough damage. So I would definitely like to have more damage. There's not too much more I can squeeze out of this build easily. Like the big upgrades at this point are level 21 gems. Maybe an amulet. Circle of Nostalgia... Chaos damage while affected by Herald of Agony, Chaos Res, Fizz is extra fire, Chaos damage, Fizz damage. Hmm. Twisted, it's got burning ground, poison, AoE, not bad. Black Suncrest, 14, 14, 13, that's a big one. Oh, I just got obliterated. Big shock. Okay, the rotating bit didn't hurt that bad. Uh, uh oh, beams. Ah, I didn't die that time. Oh, no, no. Okay, he still died in the bubble. All right, what do we got here? Percent life, mana regen, minion move speed, max lightning res, lightning res. Rip. Six link, corrupted astral plate. I didn't think it was corrupted at first, but you can identify these. Not great. I'll hold that one, though. The wedding gift, half of an Arcali's fang. The forgotten... Monsters blind on hit. I recall dying to this fight a bunch. Last league. The get the twisted out of here. It's probably the most dangerous. Oh, yep. Yeah, okay, I started with the two most dangerous ones. It's probably a good thing. It means I can get damage off on them. Before the others come out. And it gets crazy in here. Mm, there's the beam. Ah! They do a little bit more damage in here when they've got monster level 83 instead of 81. The others have come out. But they are currently standing on top of each other, so all is good. Twisted, no! Spinning! Now oh, the shock is so bad! Ah! 
I mean, if I felt comfortable cutting damage on this build, I would... Well, maybe maybe I could cut the vitality. Maybe I cut the vitality and see if I can fit in the Tempest Shield. I'm... Aww. It's about to say it. I, well, I was still alive. Surprised. Ten, surprise, you did. <laughs> I was very close to getting this one deathless, but... Oh! Well, okay. All right. Just augmented. And there we go. What we got? Four splinters. Cortex. Fractured. T4 mana imbued wand. Another atlas passive point. I'm going to refund two map drop tiers. Get for the love of the queen. Still five atlas objectives. Three maven invitations. One pinnacle boss. So uber elder. The feared, the hidden, and the elder slayers. Okay. I guess I should do the cortex. It gets me favorite slot. Uh, poison on hit. Physics lightning. Extra magic monster XP. Oh. Well, he killed me with the beam. Okay. My brain is kind of like broken on how to approach some of these fights without spell suppression. Maybe I just need to nix the idea that I was thinking about with the block. Keep what I've got and just like respect some of my tree and get the spell suppression like i i straight up have enough block that i'm i'm pretty good on attack damage it's just i i get bopped by spells and i don't want to really build evasion so i'd rather keep the block so if i'm covered on attacks i need something then to cover me on spells all res does a bad job of it block is better than spell suppression but harder to get spell suppression is fairly easy to get but it it does take investment Fractal Titan, he moved a little bit down already. Perfect. Oh, he's got beams. I see it coming. Dodge. Oh, it does full two circles, but okay. So now he's charging up. It's fine. Here it comes. Oh, I'll go right here. Oh, I have plenty of room. Whoa! Well, okay. Oh, he's setting up more. Ah! The thing spawned underneath me. Oh, he's charging his blast up again. How about we not? That'd be cool. All right, should be safe here. No, 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 no. No, he's ah, just die. Got him. Yikes! All right, a little more comfortable fighting this one. Heal the pool of the void. So he is looking that way. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, I get hit by the multi attack. Hmm. Last portal. Cleansing flames. Okay. I know how to deal with this. Move. Wait. Blast. Back in. Feel the pull of the void. Suck me in. Move. Good. Oh. Die, please. Just die. Yes. Whew. That was, that was real close to the, this would be the video where I fail all the bosses. <laughs> I got Cortex. And gloves. Chaos damage, lightning res, elemental damage. Life leech effects are not removed when unreserving, when unreserved life is filled. Kind of cool gloves. So, inveterate. Lots of gold oil. That's one, two, three, four, five, six passives. If I wanted to do that, I think the points come from here. I was considering dropping this, but this is getting me 20 int that I'm definitely going to need. Spell suppression is at 40%. That's well on full life conditional with an anoint. Um, let me just drop two and grab mage pain. That takes me to 57 and gets me access to reflexes for two points. That's another 14. So this was 17 spell suppression for two points. 
And then there's life there that is good that I could drop devotion for. So slap those in. I really like these nodes. Life lasts getting charges every three seconds. Big fan of that. There's 39 spell suppression and inveterate. I'm 43 short. I'd have to sacrifice life. One, two, four. Where do I get two more points then? Oh, I put a point into this attack block. Okay. I could drop my endurance charge. This is eight attack block in there with a the mastery I could get here. Let me see how that looks. Those nodes are not great. The endurance charge on kill is good, but put that mastery back there. That is, yeah, I lost the eight block there but i can put points here yeah 98 spell suppression then i could put two points into reflexes and then move my anoint back to aggressive bastion i think that's a good call so before doing that if i take the amulet off i am hurting nowhere oh i'm not as strapped on int anymore because i'm not using a wand well then i really don't need that cold rest either i wonder if anybody has a plus one fizz amulet uh no it's just physical skill gems there's five none of them are online though at the moment well this one's insane and i have no black oil oh, i'll just try and get the black oil then use scarabs for where on this is blight right here let's make sure there's a blight encounter in these as i'm running them black oil might show up what do we got here strongest monster impact gets dropped items converted to scarabs that's just the strongest monster i think okay i'm gonna have to test this all flame ember of meat sacks so the one that gets scarabs i convert that into meat sacks tanky undead zombie and this is dropped items dropped items with rarity oh i want to see if this gives me tons of scarabs dropped weapons converted to chaos sure uh maybe this is a meat sack this is a very tanky enemy but if he erupts into scarabs, it's going to be so good. Yep, there are some scarabs. Only four, but, you know, scarabs. But it didn't convert everything he dropped. Oh, and here's another one. Physical resistant. Not soul eater with extra life, though. So I guess if the item drops and rolls rarity on it, it gets converted. Maybe that's what it's meaning. Yep, five more scarabs. Oh, he only dropped wisdom scrolls and ancestral war chief as well. Azure teal oil. Not this time. Hey, a meat sack. Oh, there's two of them. Okay, so they're not all going to be rare. That's probably a, a good thing. Because the rare ones were ridiculous. Yeah. Three more scarabs. Meat sack with unresolved anguish. Socket links 200 times. Even the white ones are dropping me scarabs. Increased chance of caster mods. Shaped sapphire ring. Azure and teal. Untainted spitters. Monster level 83. Open Smuggler's Caches challenge complete. Shaped Titan Greaves. Another blueprint. Four more wings. Albinus Phoresia. Increased chance of caster mods. One more blighted chest. Violet Indigo. Wise Oak. Alliteration Wand. Four more chests. Blighted Flooded Mine. Indigo Violet. Game's trying to force me into a blighted map. Twisted Distant Memory. Another Formed Down. Four Splinters. Orb of Conflict. Oh, and I got a Constrictor, so I've got a set to run the others. Then get another shot at Uber Elder. Strongest Monster. It's converted. Dropped items with rarity. First enemy dropped me two. Packs of Ribbons. That one dropped me none, so I guess it didn't drop any items with rarity on it. Azure oil. Two teals. Teal oil. Because my damage is so consistent. Like, once I, if I get, get everything up with the reap and all, all of it, the level 81 Elder Guardians are way easier than the 83 ones. Like, it is very noticeable how much quicker they die. I'm not going to die to this blast of lightning no more. Somebody got spell suppression. And I can still get my endurance charges with my enduring cry, which is what I had to do in boss fights anyways. Woodborne Reliquary Key gets a oil career reward chance for additional chaos orb this is where i think the frogs come in you bring in the big packs of frogs and then hope they give you a bunch of chaos nice seven chests out of this one all right what do we got give me black oil blighted dunes map and another blighted dunes map <laughs> Okay, starting to think rolling maps has an effect on what comes out of the blight chests. Chaos orb from the frogs. More frogs, more chaos orbs. 
More frogs. Yes. Okay. So that works. If there's something you really want that has a percent chance on number of monster rather than like based on the drops of it from the strongest frogs, rats, can make those packs way bigger. Got 11 chaos. Twisted down. Three splinters. Another orb of conflict. Bonus enslaver. Two elders. Two shapers. Watcher's eye. Yes, indeed. A fizz in presence. Free blasphemy aura if I were to use that. What do we got? ES recharge while affected by discipline. Max ES recovery from leech while affected by zealotry. Another watcher's eye. This one. Lightning damage leech. Recovery rate of life in ES while affected by malevolence. This one has a ton of ES recovery. Another cold iron point has been found. Now I gotta do two more shapers. Awaken brutality. Just hit level two. Another 1% more physical damage. Orb of dominance. Shaper's touch. Another shaper down. Hubris circlet. Zodiac leather. Another pair of shaper's touch. All right, I got the wrong pieces of both of them. I'm so happy about this crafting bench thing. Huge. All right, never got my black oil, but spell suppression. Hopefully I'll be fine. We shall find out. Start with Shaper. Damage is definitely better than it was last time. Ooh. Shaper should be about down. Yes. Curse. Reap. Yeah, the, the Shaper Balls aren't going to insta-kill me this time around. Ow! That beam will, though. Uh-uh! Back to Shaper. Okay, slam, fine. Need to be in the middle. Need to remove that thing. Okay, no, still on Shaper. Ah! There we go. Now back to Elder. Uh oh. Ah! Yay, Frost Blink. Ah, and I died placing the ball. Rip. Enduring Cry might have saved me there. Whoa. They do crazy stuff. Spawn in the room. Yeah, turn the Corrupting Fever on. That will probably help. Oh, I hate this attack so much. Okay, at next ad phase. There's a lot of puddles of fizz degen on the ground. So I need to prioritize madness propagators because I was focusing the madness propagator shaper side. He wanted to be me and I wasn't paying attention to that. Okay. Just kill shaper. Okay. Didn't get blasted. Remove the Madness Propagator. Stay on Shaper. He should be close. Yeah, okay. Shaper is faced. Ah! Oh! 
Elder Slam there. Oh, and slaps. Use flasks. Ah. Okay, another ring. Oh, back to super slow. Ah. Okay, come on. Die, Elder. We did it? Okay. Next ad phase. Good. Ow. Okay, Shaper can be damaged. Curse. Curse the other one. Slam and slam. Okay, slaps. Okay, I think I think I might have phased Shaper. Um, uh, nope. Very lucky. No, oh, Shaper still got a tiny bit. Oh, I was standing in DJ. Shaper either warped or died. Shaper died. Three portals to get Elder. Oh, Elder Slam. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Just finish it. No. Okay, Enduring Cry got off. Get him. Oh, favorite map slot unlocked. Another jewel, steel ring, got my void stone, sadist garb, polished spike shield. All right, what do we got? Immune to ignite while affected by purity of fire, fire leeches life, anger, mana recovery rate clarity, and a mark of the elder. So the only favorite slot I don't have is Cirrus. Now everything's T16. Do I have Strand? I do not. Need to get Strand in here. Another Atlas Passive Point. Put this back in the map drops. Tier higher. And I think it might be Heist time. I'll do the boss ones I have first. Just in case something goes wrong with that. It'll get rid of all these quest things. Time I end up doing this fight, I don't remember what the attacks are. So hopefully I can dodge the big crazy nonsense that Nasha does. Going fine so far. Um, okay. Little volatiles on the ground. Okay, dodge that. Ah, Sun's Fury. That's the bad one. That's quick, too. Okay. Almost. Sun's Fury, got it. Good. Fledgling, counter thaumaturgy four. Bring a pride aura in here. That'll help. Admiral Darnold. Okay, he's got barrage of projectiles. Like same with this one. I do this fight like once a league, and I never remember exactly what's happening here. I know there's gonna be a big wave come from the edge. From the skies. Okay. Projectile barrage inside the circle. Okay, now there's pillars. Whoa, now there's the wave. Alright, just jump behind it. Spell suppression. All good. Ah, something keeps hitting me. Go. Got it. All Flame Ember of Scientists. Pack monsters can drop contracts and rogue markers. Pack monsters have a chance to leave corpses with a special craft. I get the add rule. Elemental damage you deal with hits is resisted by lowest elemental resistance instead. And this one, I take Tibbs. Give him the pride. Drop an identified stuff, but not 
it's not corrupted. It feels so weird. Seems like one of the perks of opening the chests is like you can sometimes get identified items. I just realized I should have a ring replacement for this death rush for bossing because that has not been good in any of the boss fights I've done. And then we've got Frederick Tarolo. Oh, he just goes right into it. He doesn't want to talk as much. Ow. Uh, he's taking damage. This is the lowest level one, I think. Oh, okay. Then he's exploding corpses. This, and then he launches projectiles per corpse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, more corpse explosions, sucks them up. Oh, I guess he already fired all the stuff. Okay, summons more corpses so you can blow them up. Okay, good. Got the belt. Oh, and this one doesn't give you portal out. Gotta run out of this one. Uh, chains of Emancipation, enemy hits inflict temp chains on you. When you lose temp chains, you gain max rage. Immune to curses while you have at least 25 rage. Life chaos res. And this one is engineering. All right, and this is the boss. One of the new T17 map bosses is based off of. Okay. S seems pretty straightforward. Oh, yeah, he's got... His crazy spinning beam thing. Oh, it goes backwards too. Spell suppression, though, is good. Get out of the beams. Don't get hit by the blast. Other way, yeah. Fairly simple here. And that's a Nadir mode. Ride before the fall. All right, so I have engineering set up at the moment. So I do those first. Level Islet of 5. Do I have a Blowtorch? Not to level 5. And then I've got her with Currency Catalysts. That's not bad. Currency Catalysts and Quant. Yeah, Heist Chests have a chance to duplicate contained div cards. It's not a mod you want anymore. Job Speed, Currency, Map Fragments. Eh, I'll keep finding more brooches I can craft. Amulet with plus one lightning and lightning damage. This one, an awesome amulet. Level a heist job to five. Job speed, reduced hiring fee. Engineering speed, good. A veiled scarab. Oh, I have two of those. Right click to reveal a random scarab. Essence of stability and betrayal. Cool. So it's like a stacked deck, but for scarabs. Oh, what was this? Lightning shock resistant, fire damage exposure, and curses. Luckily, it was right before I got the thing, so I could come back and pick all this stuff up. I should probably turn my auras back on. Dash tab 47, left 8, top 15. Oh, he's looking for the Aelrion's Veiled. I see. So, Veiled Scarabs are dropping from map chests. So, the sextants that we're dropping there are getting converted into Veiled Scarabs. What? She opened the chest before the door? Okay. Well done, Isla. The stack deck rewards have been gutted so hard. I just got a single stack deck from a small chest. Used to always drop like two. Another blueprint. And I've only gotten two from the reward chests. Used to drop three or four. Engineering done. Oh, lock picky. Ours says currency map fragments. That's good. Give him pride. Alert level reduction. No lockpick yet. Huck and Talina are maxed, so just run Karst. Good. I might not have enough time to get to the blueprints today, but I'm gonna try. Oh, it's my trinket that's identifying items. It's not a heist chest thing. Level 21 ice spear. That dropped because of the trinket. 3% chance for gym rewards. Venture's gamble. Increased quant, reduced rarity. I want to see if I can get away with something. Can I remove the inch? I can. So I put these points back down through here. This ends up being more life and region. Okay, about the same life, but better region for sure. I have one point left. I'm going to take the life region. Push to combat stamina, I guess. 
I still never got that oil. I guess I do demolition next, then see if I can fish it out of ice. Got 15 demolitions. Good. Catalysts and currency, that's fine. 11% alert level on a whisper woven cloak with increased damage and big job speed. That one is fantastic. Got two prismatic catalysts. Black oil acquired. Got everybody demolition leveled up. Now that I have the oil, we check for amulets, otters online. Awesome. Do I want fracture item spell damage? Nah. So what am I losing here? I'm still fine on int, but this amulet covers me more on int than the one I previously had. It also still has dex. So that dex is what is pushing me over the threshold for the next spell suppression. But that is enough int. That I should be able to drop a point here. Maybe this one? No, not both. But if I drop one, that can get me more life regen armor or life armor or more attack block. You know, I, I might go with the attack block here. Aggressive Bastion, Violet, Verdant, Black. Black, Violet, Verdant. Good. Endurance Charge on kill. And my block chance is 68%. Definitely have the Chaos now. Got 141. Been heisted. Uh, let's get this to be a 7% attack block. Let's check here. Where is the attack block? Not Exarch. It's Eater. Another 5 attack block in place of the life recovery rate. That's okay. I have a few of these. Come on, give me attack block, wrath or effect, evasion, flex, yes, spell block. Give me the other one. All the res, less damage taken per strength, ride or effect, attack block. So now attack block is at 75, but there's still 10 that I could get. And if I use these two points I have for 6% attack block, wait, it only goes up to 80? Is block cap 70? I thought it was 75 was the block cap and then 10% more chance to block attack damage. Oh, it's only 5% max, 10% chance. Okay, 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 okay. So there, I'm 80% attack block and then I should put life on this. I could put spell damage, I think, but recover some of the life. Damage goes up more on everything, which is good. An abandoned wealth. Eight catalysts. Honor Thaumaturgy up next, because this might be the last batch of these I get to run. I need to at least get Ninette a level in Counter Thaumaturgy. It probably won't level her all the way up, because I want to focus on Niles. But I want to get whatever gems I can. Level 20 Arcanist Brand. Level 21 Glacial Cascade. Quality on that is Final Burst deals more damage. Maybe you can add quality to Corrupted Gems in the upgraded lab. Yeah, they got in a net to level 3. 20 quality Vortex. Blink Arrow. 20 quality Fork. Master Lockpick. Can hook car stuff with that now. 20 quality Icicle Mine, level 20 Arcane Cloak. Astramentus has shown up. Ooh, 99 on the roll there too. Big. 20 quality Ice Crash, Heavy Strike. Maybe one more contract will get me a level. Level 95. Then with the level, I was going to use it for block, but I don't need to. Um, Let's see here. If I could rework all my gear into Armor Evasion Hybrid, I could get the... 15 spell suppression, dropping reflexes. I think I'm going to go back into this life region. And I won't get to finish the heist till tomorrow. Do the blueprints then as well. And I've been trying to clean through the dump at the end of each video. But I don't know that I left myself enough time for that today. Ideally, I'd be able to show what new stuff I found to anybody else playing in the private league. So they like know it exists. But I'll have to do that Another time, what I want to do is make a bunch of GCPs and get myself an Exsanguinate that is level 21. 28 GCPs from that inventory, and I have 13 currently, so I can do two. Jewelers and Fusings are stacking up. Chaos, got tons of those. Got a bunch of catalysts in there. Got a bunch of essences. Quality up in Exsanguinate. And then level 21. 2020. Try again. Fall Orb 2018. Means I make some more. 19 more. Then Vol Orb 2023. I got a challenge complete for that. It gets a little bit of extra duration, so I mean, might as well. Debuff lasts 6.59 seconds. That's actually way longer than I thought. So I just need to hit once with that and then go crazy with the reap. And that's part of what I think I'm going to do next time. 
I'll finish the heists for sure. Got nine blueprints currently and a handful of contracts. But the goal for next time, I'm probably going to use my third atlas tree and have this set up for essences. And I want to go like full in essences and like see what happens. Chance for three additional essences here. Contain additional essence. This one, at least one essence at highest tier. Chance for additional essences. And then Scarab wise, I haven't even found them all. I have three essences are a tier higher. 15 can only result in upgrading or transforming with the Remnant of Corruption. 33 essence Scarabs. I got a bunch of these from the engineering contracts. That's why I have more essences than any others. It's all was from the essence nodes in the highest contracts is where I got most of them. So I want to run these, stack up essences, use as much juice as essence juice as possible. Like I will spin the chaos, put the two additional essences on there with the scarab for the two additional, with the one on the passive tree, with the extras, all of it. Like big essence farm. I'm not going to set it up yet. I want to think about what else I want to do with this tree. As it's going to be left side, this might be like turn into Exarch Altar Farming. Got Beyond over here, Delirium's over here. But it's going to be a left side tree. And then my June tree, I, I kind of added high stuff. This is supposed to be my right side tree, but I got Huck in here now. With the essences, I could also invest in the new league mechanic stuff. Increased chance for devoted modifiers. That's really good. Yeah, that's probably the plan because I also still have not completed this. Like, wait a second. They, they Wait, they add more? No. Okay. Well, I just I need to keep adding things here. Increased chance of caster, berry, caster chance, attack mods are scarcer, attribute mods scarcer, scarcer resistance, lightning scarcer, I'll throw in the increased effect of gym mods, for increased chance. I have a couple plus one item levels. I want to see where we're at here. I have so much chance of caster mods. Now, let's see here. It would be a wand, imbued wand, item level 79. So I need a few of these, I think. Plus one item level again. There we go. Like, do I need to fill it? I'm kind of tempted to just, you know what? I want to hit it and see what happens kind of thing. Mm, remove an explicit mod. I'll make it five. That might be better for me. Yeah, five mods. I'm going to do it. I completed a few challenges. A wand? Oh, okay. It's called Brood Bane. Plus one Fizz Gems, cast speed, spell damage, chance to shock. All right, refund this point. Put it back in the int. Spell damage, spell damage, mana. Oh, it's pretty, it's pretty damn good. Uh, then it goes crafting bench. Fizz damage over time multiplier, 20%. I have to turn malevolence off, I think. So it's 52, 592. 58, 097. How does that work on Corrupting Fever? Currently 10, 630. No, the Corrupting Fever is way better with the Cold Iron Point. That's because... The dot from Corrupting Fever is not scaled by spell damage like it is with Reap and Exsanguinate. I can't believe it actually pretty much worked. Uh, it could use Blessed Orbs, 37. It has 25% cast speed. That's so massive. Cast time, 0.56 was 0.67. Well, that's really cool. It'd be cool if I can get the Exsanguinate. Next time, I've got Vol Reap leveling. I can start to try that out next time. Corrupting Fever, go for a plus one on that as well. Starting to wonder if, like, maybe I don't need the Void Sphere. That would give me a lot of extra gem links to do other things with. I don't know. I'm still enjoying playing the character. I'm hoping tomorrow might be determining what I want to make my second character, but we'll see. Blueprints could give me some stuff but there's still lots of upgrades to potentially make on this one but that's going to do it for this one i'd like to thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video definitely hit the like button as it really helps the channel out a lot subscribe make sure you don't miss more videos from me if you'd like to help support my channel please consider using the super thanks the heart icon just below the video or by joining to become a member and i'll see you on the next one cheers